This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Play the game at least once. Notice what is different about the end of the game screen. Okay, I can play a game. Play. Okay, I got... Ooh, ooh I'm not good at this. Lime? Lemon? Lime? Ooh. You collected two lemons. Play again. You collected an even... Oh, it tells us. That's cool. I wonder how they're doing that. An even number. All right. Look at lines 53 through 59. Check. With your partner, high person on the other end of this computer, you're my partner. Congratulations, you're welcome. Uh, uh the mod operator works. How? The, uh, oh, with a partner to discuss how the mod operator works. Mod super important, or the modulo operator in computer science. It sounds confusing. What it means, guys, is remainder. And yeah, it's just this. You see this uh percent sign, which I almost can't say. The present sign in computer science when it's like this means remainder. So you've seen this before. Now, I'm going to pull up debug console just for a second. You don't have to do this. I just want to kind of show you what this thing is. So let's say, for instance, you have, congratulations, you're really wealthy, and you have 30, you're welcome. Oh, it's not typing. $30. And now I'm going to do a modulus operator, and I'm going to put 10 here. Oh. I need to run this to be able to show you this. There we are. 30 mod. There we are. Zero. And so what's the leftover? Well, 30. Okay, 10 goes into 30 three times, and there's nothing left over. So the result of this would be zero, right? Well, how about, I don't know, 4 mod 3. Well, the result of that is 1, because 3 can go into this one time, but there's one left over. All right, well, what about 8? mod uh, 3. Well, the result of that is 2, because 2 times 3 is 8, times 3 is 6, and there's 2 left over. Well, what about 13 mod 7? Well, the result of that is 6, right? Because 7 can only go into 13 one time. What's left over? Well, 7 can go in one time, so 13 minus 7, the leftover is 6. Mod is left over. So that's what you got to know. That being said, what are we going to do with this? So right now we're checking if score is divisible by two. So if it's even, they want us uh, five limits. Oh, five limits make a cup. Okay. Tell the user the amount of cups they've collected. Or if, if they don't have an exact number, tell them how many more they need. Okay. So we need to tell them the exact number of cups they have or how many more that they need. Okay. That makes sense. So to do this, I want to use a variable. I know that right off the bat, because I don't want to include so much of all this stuff. Um, it would get confusing because we'd have to sandwich it into our strings like this. So let's make a variable that represents. And just to be clear, you could here. I want to show you two ways, actually. You collected an even number of limits. OK, so how many you collected? You collected exactly. And then I want the number here, so I'm going to do a plus, and I could do score divided by 5. Now, why score divided by 5? Well, there's 5 lemons in a cup, right? So score divided by 5, if they got 5 lemons, then divide it by 5, and that will be the cups they have. It might be easier to do this in text mode, I should point that out. Score divided by 5, you collect exactly score divided by 5, uh, space, cups of lemon juice right and since we're not sure if it's going to be cup or cups now this is one way without a variable and this will work you can also though and i would suggest just because of how kind of complicated this is getting to actually use a variable so i'm going to go ahead and do a var uh score modulus so let's just do uh cups maybe and then i'll do score divided by five right and now what we need up here, because we're not checking if it's even anymore, we want to know if it's an exact amount of cups. So there we are. Score divided by 5. Now it's a little more straightforward for me to use our new variable. Great. Now what about this down here? Okay. We need to adjust even odd. You're collected an odd number. Now we need to tell them, okay, you didn't collect an exact number. So let's do a variable for that as well. They didn't collect an exact number of cups. So let me go ahead and do this down here. And what I'll do now is we need the leftover. So, um, or the amount they need to get.
So how many more lemons do they need? If it takes five to get there. Okay, so uh, lemons needed, I'll call this. And I'm going to do modulus operator. You're also, trust me on this, you're going to need a subtraction. Because you want to do five, I, it should be. Yep, and then it's going to be score modulus five. Boom, I'm going to click off. It could be easier if you put parentheses around this so you understand that this will happen first. Score modulus five. The reason we're doing that is we're saying, okay, if they have a score three, three modulus five is going to be what? Well, how many times does five go into three? Not at all. So what's left over? Three. So how many more lemons do they need to make a full cup? Two. Well, three minus five is two. And that's what we need. What if they have 13 lemons? Well, how many times does five go into 13? Well, twice. So that would be 10. 10 minus 13 is three. Okay, so they would need two more left over. Five minus three again. Okay, two more. So that's what we can use this for. You. So now you collected an odd number of lemons. Instead, I'll say you need, and then we'll use my variable, our variable, lemons needed, more lemons to only have exactly enough to make cups of juice. Boom. It's kind of long. You can't even see it all. Let me zoom out so you can see what I mean. I said limits needed more limits to only have to let me make this less wordy only cups of juice we'll call that good i guess i could put and the wording is somewhat up to you if you are an overachiever and i know you are because you are uh even or odd for the text bothers me right either this is fine it would work but it's no longer an even or odd so let me click on this and i'm gonna say this lemon cups label right because that makes more sense now it fits what we're doing and that will match because that's where we're putting it lemon cups label lemon cups label of course you want to think of your own terms that make sense to you these are the ones that make sense to me right but the great thing is is you want variables to make sense in your head they don't need to be what i'm all right let's hit play and see boom get the oh ooh, i'm not oh you collected four lemons boo you need one more lemon oh so I could put an apostrophe. So there's a little bit of lingo touch up here, but it works. Lemon, lemon. Let's see if I can get more. Ah. Oh, ah. oh, I did so well. 18 lemons. You need two more lemons. Yep. To have exactly enough to make only cups of juice. Pretty cool.